Hi, it's Mike with Ugtastic. I'm here again at GoToConf 2015, sitting here with Dean Wampler, who's giving a talk on data science with Spark. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time sure. to speak with me, Dean. Uh, you know, the big question is, and kind of jokingly, what is data science? But more in the moment, what is Spark? So Spark is uh, a distributed computing engine designed for data systems uh, that uh, was invented about five or so years ago uh, as a research project in Berkeley and is now an Apache project and is now an official tool in the Hadoop ecosystem, but even outside it as well for you know, either processing like large data sets that you have either on you know the a file system somewhere or a database or data streaming in from say you know Twitter or you know your uh, log files or whatever so that you can you know, do s transformations, analyze it, even machine learning algorithms like looking for anomalies mm -hmm. or you know, making predictions and things like that. Interesting about the logs that that's one of those aspects that we tend to as developers forget has real data in there and can tell us a lot about how our systems are working. Yeah. Um, but uh, the the thing I'm thinking about is there's been kind of a theme from some of the interviews I've I've spoken to about this concept that these these new ways of or like I don't know if they're second generation versions of of these massive uh, hmm. processing systems. Uh, you know what is it about Spark compared to like Ignite or some of the other uh, vendor offerings that we have here? Yeah, so that you, you made a good point that it's kind of a second generation tool. It's mm -hmm. it's really sort of a rethinking. Of, of the original Hadoop tool called MapReduce, which mm -hmm. actually was invented at Google, uh, making it more flexible for different problems, more efficient so that you can do things like highly iterative processing. That turns out to be important for things like machine learning or mm -hmm. if you're representing your data as a graph and you need to walk the edges of the graph, that sort of thing. Um, you know, it, it compared to like some of the commercial tools that are available, it's it's a little rougher around the edges because right. it's you know it, it has been open source. It was like I said a research project that's rapidly being adopted by industry. So a lot of times it's a question of do I have the scale requirements and maybe the flexibility to work with an open source tool, and I'm less concerned about something that's you know maybe as uh, mature as mature and commercially supported uh, as like a proprietary system or some of the proprietary systems are really, really good at particular kinds of problems and particular kinds of users, and whereas something like Spark is more general purpose and can mm -hmm. be more widely used, but okay. uh, you might have to do a little more uh, self-service yeah. at, at this stage. But that's, you know, like all open source projects, which in this case it happens to be maybe the most active in the world right now, um, with, with the possible exception of Linux or something, mm -hmm. um, you know, things just rapidly improve and people fill in the gaps where needed. Even, you know, I work for TypeSafe and we're we're uh, supporting Spark commercially now, and we're also contributing to Spark. You know, how it runs on top of the Mesos framework, for example, which is an alternative to uh, to Hadoop. Um, uh, even there's a standalone mode if you just have a small uh, cluster you want to wire up mm -hmm. and then just go. Yeah, that's also an interesting option. Now, Spark is going to be one of those hard words to Google. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is there what's the is there a project page you mentioned Apache? Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I always Google uh, when I want to get to the page uh, uh, Apache Spark. Okay, and it's Spark.apache.org is is the home page for it, so yeah, that's the yeah, you're right. Yeah. The word is a little. <laughs> it's not a really there. Google yeah. uh, friendly word. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. Hey, my pleasure. It. Thank you. Thanks.